Welcome back to On Point from the Somerdale Church of Christ. Esther is such a wonderful book. It's a book that gets overlooked sometimes. We don't really preach and teach enough about it. But there's a phrase that's used, probably the most famous verse in Esther, in chapter 4 and verse 14, when Mordecai says to Esther, For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Isn't that a powerful verse? A great thought. Mordecai is saying, look, Esther, you've been put here for a reason. And if you don't believe that, that's okay. God will rise, you know, allow someone else to rise in your place. But maybe you're here for this exact purpose. Maybe this is your time to shine. She takes that challenge and she meets it. She does exactly what she's supposed to do. She goes to the king. She asks for help. She is willing to sacrifice herself for her people. And it's a great story. Uh, you know, the book of Ruth is really about love. And uh, you have this great story, another great story for young ladies to read, all of us to read, really. But a, a lesson on courage, being able to dare to have such a faith in God that you're willing to face any adversity or any enemy, uh, despite what your feelings are, fears may be that they're going to do to you. And Esther certainly stands up. But Mordecai also gets a lot of praise for this. The fact that he tells her, you know, look, you need to make a decision. You need to decide what you're going to do. God is going to use you or he's not. But one way or another, he's going to accomplish his will. And how cool is it that both of their stories play out where both of them are blessed by the end of the book? I encourage you to think about where you're going to be today. Maybe God placed you there in such a time as this where maybe you're supposed to talk to someone about Jesus or offer some encouragement or tell someone you're going to pray for them. Uh, be the hands and feet of Christ wherever you are today. Maybe you're there for that very purpose, for God to use you to do good. Hope you have a great day today, and thank you for tuning in to On Point. Yeah.